Well, welcome back to BTCS is a channel building industry leading blockchain solutions and joining to discuss kind of the value lineup here. What's been going on in the crypto space and more Charles Allen, the CEO joining us. Welcome back, sir. Yeah, Kyle, thanks for having me back. It was a pleasure to get you on. Last time we spoke, I mean, you guys were in the midst of, uh, you know, basically financing to buy up to 57.8 million ETH. And there's been a lot going on in this space. We recently saw Sharplink Gaming uh, in the crypto space. It ran up 2,000% in a month, peaked around 79 and 80 bucks before crashing 80%. Do you want to just give some insight on that and what's relatable? Yeah, so I think, look, first off, it's great to have another uh, Ethereum-focused company in the public markets with, you know, Joe Lubin, who founded... Um, Ethereum, it really brings credibility to, you know, the space. We've been the only public company focused on Ethereum since 2021. We we're actually mining it back in 2015. So adding that institutional credibility to the market, I think, will, will help, you know, rate, raise uh, awareness of, of what we're doing at BTCS. As far as what they did, they, they basically... Um, uh, did a pipe financing. I think that was about 425 million and they, they pulled about um, uh, almost 80 million off ATM sales, which was pretty slick the way they did it. Uh, albeit I, I would, they should have taken the whole billion. Um, hindsight's 2020. You know, the reason for the crash is pretty obvious. They registered shares with investors. They had a lot, a lot of fast money investors in their deal. I know, I know the investors in their deal have taken money from some of them. I'm not going to mention names. But it was really apparent, like, you know, you could see this, you know, coming a mile away that the stock was going to crash because it was trading at 10 times the, you know, NAV or the price to book. And so, you know, fast money investors that are not interested in crypto are going to, you know, they could buy Ethereum and, and, and short the stock or they already had the stock. They'll just sell it when they've got a, you know, 10x return in two weeks was like, obviously, it's going to come. Um so I'm not surprised. It's nice to see it bounce back. I think right now, you know, they trade it about 2.2 times Booker Nav, however, you know, whatever terminology you want to use, um, versus you know, BTCS. We're sitting here at about you know 1.4 times. Right? We have, albeit less Ethereum, 13,500 based on last disclosures compared to their you know 176,000 approximately ETH. Um, but from a value proposition play, you know, we're Analyst estimates have us doing 7.3 million in revenue, which I think, you know, that's their new guidance. Uh, we're very optimistic that that, that um, you know, hopefully there's a, there's a surprise there. Um, you know, we put our internal target at 8 million with it, with a stretch of 20 million for revenue. But breaking that down, that puts us at a forward price to sales ratio of about 7x seven, seven compared to, you know, Sharplink, if their only revenue, which we know of will be the staking returns, on their, call it, you know, 460 million of ETH, they're going to be about 18 million, so about 55 times price to revenue. So, um, you know, hopefully a rising, you know, tide will lift all ships and people will see the value proposition of BTCS where 80% you know, of our revenue is coming from our block building that's that's growing extremely well. And we do have a, you know, strong ETH digital asset treasury strategy as a byproduct of our operations. So, you know, interesting times in the industry, super excited to have company in the public markets. And, uh, um, you know, that, that's kind of, I think, what's, what's, what's going on there just to break down, the, you know, recent, recent events uh, in the industry. Yeah, I definitely appreciate all the insight as the crypto space continues to be relatively fascinating, especially within the ETH, uh, you know, you're playing in. But we'll pass it off to the viewers as always. We'd love to know what you think in that comment section and consider subscribing as News Catalyst for BTCS comes down the wire. Of course, we're going to bring it to you here. But on that, as always, we look forward to catching you in the next one.